electric field intensity call it the field strength it's Kisembo Academy and thanks for tuning in electric field intensity is simply the force acting on a charge of one coulomb at that point we have explored before an electric field and what it means it is simply the area where the electric uh, strength is felt so the electric field intensity is simply the force that is acting on a charge of one coulomb that is placed at that point and we E will stand for our electric field intensity so electric field intensity which we have labeled as E is going to be equal to the force of that field divide that by the charge of that coulomb we are talking about so it means that the SI unit for electric field intensity is newtons which is coming from force and the charge Q which is coulomb so it is newtons per coulomb and if we are to reorganize this into a flat equation we find ourselves having force electric field the force in an electric field is equivalent to the charge multiply that by the electric field intensity we are deriving E is equal to intensity is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times that now we are having two point charges here we are having charge Q naught and we are having charge Q1 they are separated together by a certain distance let's call that distance R the distance of separation between Q0 and Q1 now the force that is acting on Q1 due to this is going to be gotten using Coulomb's law of electrostatics which states that for two point charges the force that is between them is directly proportional to the product of those charges and inversely proportional to the square of their separation and that is why exactly we used here that the force f on q1 due to q0 f is going to be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times q0 times the, the, the product of the charges divide that by the square of the separation like we had earlier intimated 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught this is a constant and by experimental observation it is equivalent to 9 times 10 to the power 9 but knowing that the force of uh, uh, the force acting on q1 due to q0 is this we were we are interested in finding the intensity at this point so the intensity e at q1 is going to be the force acting at this q1 divide that by the charge q1 which we have illustrated here that the intensity due to q1 is going to be equal to the force that is acting on that q1 divide that by that charge q1 and the force is what we had already illustrated here before so we substitute for f we put this so it's going to be q0 times q1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times r squared divide that by q1 which is so happens to be the charge which is that so continuing with our arithmetic we end up with the, this arrangement we find the reciprocal of this giving us 1 over q1 this goes with that you remain with our formula for intensity of a point charge e being equal to q0 divide that by 4 pi epsilon naught times r squared now let's take note of a few things that the electric field intensity will act radially outwards for a positive charge and radially inward for a negative charge let's look at the works example we have an example here we have a, ch a point charge here and a point charge there this is four microcoulombs and we are being asked to find the intensity at b for us to find the electric field intensity at b which we shall call e electric field intensity at b from our formula we had already it's going to be the charge divide that by q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught times r squared so we are finding the electric field intensity at b due to this charge so the value of q here is the value of the charge which is having the electric field intensity which is causing the field intensity so in this case our value of q is going to be 4 times 10 to the power negative 6 because it is microcoulombs 
divide that by r squared. What is r squared? It is 5. Converting this to meters is going to give you 0 0.05 squared. And this multiply that by, we have 4 pi epsilon naught. 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught is equivalent to 9 times 10 to the power 9. And to get our answer there will be 14.4. And that is Newton's per coulomb. So that's the electric intensity, electric field intensity at B due to that point charge. 14.4 times 10 to the power negative 6. Let's find the intensity at point B. In this question, we are having point A with a point charge of positive 5 microcoulombs and negative 3 microcoulombs. So if we are to redraw that diagram, this is what we have. We have B, we have C here, we have A. Now we know that A here is positively charged, C is negatively charged. So we shall assume that B is positively charged. Now if this point B is positively charged, it means that there is going to be repulsion between A and B. And it means that the intensity uh, the intensity at B due to A is going to be experienced in that direction considering that this is stationary that is stationary and this is the only one that is moving it means that our intensity due to A will be experienced in that direction likewise if we look at point C it is negatively charged according to our question negative 3 and this B is positive since this is positive and that is negative, it means these are unlike charges, so they will attract. So it means that the intensity of B due to C is going to act in that direction still, assuming that C is stationary and B is the one that is moving. It means it is going to be attracted in that direction. So it means that our intensity, electric field intensity, due to C, is also going to be acting in that direction so we begin off we find the intensity in that direction we find the intensity due to C then since both of them are acting in the same direction it means we shall simply add the two and we have an answer intensity due to A using the, the formula is going to be Q A over 4 pi epsilon naught R squared Intensity, electric field intensity due to A is going to be QA is 5 microcoulomb. So it's going to be 5 times 10 to the power negative 6 times 9 times 10 to the power 9. Remember, this is equivalent to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. Divide that by R squared. This is 10 centimeters. Converting that to meters is going to give us 0 0.1 meters. So it's going to be 0 0.1 squared. And our answer will be 4.5 times 10 to the power 6 newtons per coulomb. We go on to the next. The intensity due to C. This is simply going to be QC over 4 pi epsilon naught R squared. That's going to be our QC is 3. It is 3 microcoulombs, so it's going to be 3 times 10 to the power negative 6. Multiply that by 9 times 10 to the power 9. Divide all that by the distance between the two is 5 centimeters in meters. That is 0 .0 0 0.05 meters, so it's going to be 0 0.05 meters squared. And our answer e here is simply going to be 10.8 times 10 to the power 6 newtons per coulomb. So since the intensity due to A is acting in the same direction as the intensity due to C, so to find the total intensity at point B is simply you are going to add the intensity due to A and intensity due to C and we will get the total intensity. So in this case it will be so our total intensity will be intensity at B is going to give us the intensity due to A plus the intensity due to C. 
and that is going to give us 4.5 times 10 to the power 6 because that is what we got here plus 10.8 times 10 to the power 6 and our answer will be 15.3 times 10 to the power 6 newtons per coulomb and that is going to be the intensity at point B. Please don't forget to comment below or hit that like button. Someone out there might like to watch this tutorial. Don't forget to share. Otherwise, for more videos, simply subscribe to this channel. For Xembo Academy, this is Anul Ranga Kurami.